It's not about perfection, it's about results. Too many people are getting swept up in this purity test culture that everything has to be pure. You gotta be 100% raw. If you're 90%, you, you have to give, you know, kind of show your shame that, I mean, I'm, I'm only eating 90% raw, but I'm, I'm, I'm 100% some days and I'm trying to get there and or I, I eat mostly fruit and this purity test nonsense that has nothing to do with any kind of transition. It's very problematic and it's causing people to suffer and to fail, to not be able to reach their goals. Because if you do have a goal of being 100% raw or being eating 100% fruit, why not transition to that permanently if that's what you want? And I'm going to show you what you can do to get there, if that's where you're coming from. If you are find yourself in situations where you don't do what you need to do because you are too perfectionistic. You know, there's this, this dogma and this concept in the raw food community. It's like, as soon as you eat cooked foods, it's like, every it starts over again. It's like, you'd be like, yeah, I've been raw 100 days, and then you eat something cooked on 101 days, then all of a sudden, you go back to the beginning again. That makes no sense, but that it is what it is. That's the dogma that's developed. There's a dogma that developed that you have to, uh, well, they co all cooked food is like created equal, when that's totally wrong. Uh, eating cooked uh, pork and eating uh, you know, pig intestines is not the same as eating cooked kale and cooked zucchini. Those are different realities. And so we got to understand that these cooked vegetables and these cooked fruits are here to help us transition. They're here to help us clean ourselves up because we've gotten so far away from the natural way that humans were designed to eat and designed to be, to breathe, to utilize oxygen at its highest levels. We've lost that ability. So we have to do practices. You know, the original humans didn't have to do breath exercises. They weren't doing yoga. What is that? These ancient traditions of the, the ancient breath work, the ancient, you know, mucus's diet, it was the missing piece in all of those ancient traditions. But why did they develop those practices? They developed them because they were losing something. Something was lost that was once normal. So it's about recreation of ourselves, the re-imagination and the finding ourselves, our bloodline. Finding ourselves by cleaning up our blood. And you do that with the mucus's diet healing system. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about this Stay tuned to this video and I, we're going to feel a lot better about moving forward, not being so hard on yourself. Stay tuned. I'm Professor Spira and I practice something called the Mucusless Diet Healing System. I've done so for over 18 years and I've helped thousands of people transform their lives using the methods of the Mucusless Diet Healing System. And today I'm here in what you probably know now as Miami with this very interesting uh, carousel behind me. And we are talking about not being hard on yourself. It's not about perfection. Get that out of your mind. It's not about perfection, it's about results. It's about the process and it's about results. And this is something that I have to tell myself, even making these videos and doing the work that I do and publishing books and because I'm a perfectionist in that arena, putting out music. I don't like to put things out unless they're perfect unless they're, that's one reason I like being an improvising musician, 
is because what in the world? It, it's one reason I like being an improvising musician is because that is you can't you you're, you're you can't edit it. You know, it's done. You can't you can't go back and fix anything. And uh, and it is what it is. And so I'm out here now. I'm not gonna edit this. We're just gonna let this go. Mistakes and all, because that's the whole. And it's not really mistakes. It's just sometimes you want things. You want to control everything. And that's that's the thing. You want to control. You know, you get this this feeling of ah, I want to control. I want to be. I want to be in control. I'm 100% raw. I'm 100% mucus free. That's still coming from that pus type of mentality that competition mentality that that like grr, that fighting kind of mentality when when you start to clean yourself up and people sometimes they don't like that because that's part of what starts to transform inside you is that 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 type of drive you see the drive changes the drive starts to get more calm more collected more clear the the clarity the, which I love. A lot of people, like I said, they, they would rather have, because they're addicted to that kind of stimulation, that meat thing, then they would rather that. You know, like, yeah, give me that. Rah, 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 rah. You know, like that, that type of thing. As opposed to just being calm and collected and, and existing enjoying the air enjoying but when you crave that stimulation when you need that you don't you don't feel that you know that's that's not how you feel and so the mucus diet healing system is the key but you you don't want to be hard on yourself you don't want to feel as if you have to really push yourself and because I just oh. felt connected to come here and you're just preaching and I want to respect your boundaries but oh. I, I feel yeah. like I need to hear this, Sorry. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm talking about, you ever heard of that, the mucusless diet healing system? The what? The mucusless diet healing system. No, tell, please tell me about it. So that is, I don't know, have you ever heard like Dr. Sabi or any anything like that? I, I have not at all. Okay. Enlighten me. So this is the original plant-based healing diet. So. The person that wrote the Mucus of Diet Healing Systems, a man by the name of Professor Arnold Errett, and he had, had a sanitarium where all these really sick and dying people would come, and he would uh, basically you know, show them how to fast properly, put them on a diet that we call a mucusless diet. It's basically foods that don't degrade into slime in the body. Okay. And he would heal these people that had been diagnosed as incurable by the medical establishment. And this is back in uh, 1920, you know, the 1910s, uh, 1920. And so that's what I practice is the mucus diet healing system. You know, years ago when I was, uh, I was about 18 years old and I learned about the mucus diet and I suffered from a lot of different ailments. I had chronic migraine headaches every day. I was like 300 pounds. I, took a bunch of pharmaceutical medications, had a CPAP unit at night, you know, and uh, so I started practicing this diet and within six months I lost 100 pounds, overcame all those ailments, and ultimately just totally transformed my life. And so, uh, so all these years later, I've been practicing about 18 years now. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so that's what I talk about. You know, I try to, you know, get, introduce people yeah, I, to it. You know, personally, I had no idea what that was. But yeah. The fact that, I don't know. I'm just, I, I, no expectations. I'm just skating. But my energy, like your energy, like it was like you need to come over here and listen. And I was like, <laughs> all right, let me just like, I don't want to be weird, but I was also like, like I felt like what you were saying was important because you're very passionate about it and you're yeah. very articulate. And I just felt that presence. And so. Thank you for sharing it with me because I totally interrupted yeah. your space. So. Hey, it's, it's all good. I and that's that. kind of what we was talking about is that, that improvisational so flow. Are you, are you like blogging? Do you have like a YouTube channel? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, let me, I uh, got a card. Let me see if I have any cards left. Say what's up. <laughs> wisdom. Like I personally, I didn't know anything about this, but I absolutely, I love it. Yeah. I, love, I love your truth and your story. Oh, well, thank you. Like, they, no, thank <laughs> you for sharing it with me. I'm, yeah. I know I freak people out because I'm like, I just, I'm so fucking serious. I, little things like people just living yeah. and doing things like that. 
I love it because yeah. social media is so curated and so this yeah, and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially yeah. in Miami, you know, yeah, people doing yeah. so. I was like, this doesn't look like a normal Miami. <laughs> no, I'm right? not. <laughs> so I was just like, this is what I'm trying to do. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's yeah. That's we're it. here. We'll check. This is all my my information. My YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Okay. Yeah, you can check me out really, there. All right, Royal. Yeah. I actually create content as well. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure if I I, I want to. I want to connect with you. I don't want to follow. I'm not like a follower. Okay. So I yeah. want to genuinely connect with you. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, this doesn't. This makes well. me feel very like. You give me a piece of paper, like you know what I'm gonna do with this piece. I'm gonna throw it away. Like, well, send. Well, send me a message on Instagram. Is that is how you? That, do, yeah. You, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna, yeah. I will connect with you via Instagram. Okay. All right. And so that way, just whatever, just hype you up, even if it's just to do that, because you just have an amazing energy, and I appreciate you for letting me just kind of. Yeah. Storm you, like, what's going on here? Yeah. I appreciate yeah. That. All right, Take nice to meet you. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Seriously, you too. Keep doing you. Like, I know that you already know all of this, but like, I just want to give you that reassurance that like, I think you're badass. No one told you today. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, take care. You too. Yeah. So, uh, so that was nice. That guy got some compliments there. I appreciate that. And uh, and that was kind of the vibe of the video was that. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't try to make it perfect. Don't try to, like you said, the curated content. You know, with me, you're gonna get it raw. And you know, it's some some videos I edit and other things, it's it's gonna be raw. And so, and, and, and I like to live my life like that. I like the improvisational nature of life. I like not knowing what's gonna happen or, or necessarily where I'm gonna be. You know, like with right now, I'm traveling around and I'm exploring, I'm meeting new people, getting new vibes. See, I like to vibe in spaces. Even some people really like to go meet a lot of people. And sometimes I like to meet musicians and artists and things, but I'm not the most gregarious person in that sense. I like to go talk about the music's diet with people. Uh, but I'm not necessarily someone that's going to go and be super duper extra, you know, just go walk and, you know, just meet everybody, you know. I have to push myself to do that if I'm going to do that. But, but I like spaces so I can, like, absorb the energy and the vibration of, of a particular space. And then so I like to do videos like this in those spaces. But so I'm, I'm not going to go on and on in this one. It was a quick message. Don't be hard on yourself like I always talk about. And of course, just start the process of cleaning yourself up. You feel so much better. And, and at the same time, we gotta get rid of this, this perfectionism, this wholeness concept, this wholeness and this, this kind of thing. We just gotta get, it's, it's not helpful. You know, we gotta be realistic. There's, this, is, this is real, this is real life. And what people do, if you're trying to hold, especially practicing the mucus diet, if you're trying to hold on to some of these dogmas and these concepts about that, you know, it has to be a certain way and, you know, don't be all, uh, you know, that kind of thing, it, you're going to, it's, it's not going to work. Because, and I always talk about that, built into the mucus diet is the potential for falling off the wagon. It's not if it's gonna happen, it's when it's gonna happen. How well do you prepare for it? That's the difference. See, I'm prepared for it as best as I can be. But the problem with a lot of people is once they fall off the wagon, they don't know how to get back on because they didn't prepare to fall off the wagon. They just assumed that everything was gonna go smooth. And that's not, that's not how we go. So, Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you like this video, if you really want to get plugged into the Mucus Diet Healing System and learn about what it's, what it's all about, check out the Mucus Diet Healing System e-course. The link is down in the description. We have a lot of people enrolled. It's a lot of fun. And it's two months. It's a college level course. We really go in on this information. So check that out. And and just plug in if you're not a part of the insiders club yet sign up for that sign up for the insiders club get your free gifts uh, five free mucus free recipes 
the intro to mucus free menu planning, uh, top 10, my top 10 mucus free, favorite mucus free foods, all that information is down in the description. Sign up, plug in, get yourself together. It's so much fun. Life can be so much fun. Life can feel so much better. We don't have to live so stimulated. We don't have to just be so, uh, you know, go through the pain and the suffering that we do. It's like, People get high, they get drunk, they go out, they have these fun times, but the repercussions of that, the payment that you have to do for that is, is not worth it in the long run. I would rather be the tortoise than the hare and do this thing long term, have a lot of fun, feel good, and and relax you know it doesn't have to things don't have to be so fast paced things don't have to be so 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 aggressive and that kind of thing but you don't necessarily feel like that until you start to clean yourself up so i invite you check out the mucus's diet healing system get into this life really uh be open you know open yourself up there's so much so much uh transformation that can happen and so you definitely want to uh, check this out and so until next time peace love and breath but hey before you go i want you to check out this video right here this is a great video that was made specifically for you so i invite you to check this out and click right here right now there you go and i will see you over there peace love and breath